everyone, we have Anna from the movie Disney Frozen. It's Anna's styling head, everyone, with wear and share accessories. I can't wait to open this up and play with you. Let's go. Hi, Olaf. Are you here to watch us play with Anna's hair? Awesome. Hi, Anna. You look bright and cheery today. I love your hair. It's already styled so super cute. So here's Anna's styling head. It comes um, with a base and it's very light. So you're gonna see when I braid her hair, it's gonna move around um, uh, quite a bit, but that's okay because it makes it a little bit more fun. It has a wonderful medallion right here. And of course the Anna colors with her black dress that's so super beautiful with her little freckles and her little nose there. What I love about this is that it comes already styled in our Anna hairdo. Like we just think of these braided piggies with Anna. And it has the white hair that got turned white when Elsa accidentally struck her. And um, the trolls had to fix her when she was a little baby. So we have that right here, of course. And this is a beautiful red color. You can just see the shine. So we're going to play with her hair. And it's so soft. It's just wonderful. And then they have a little pony right here that we're going to keep in. And then they have a little pony right here that we can keep in. We don't need to keep it in. But I think for us playing today, we're going to... Um, keep it in and then it comes with a lot of wear and share accessories so in fact it comes with 14 of them we have this beautiful barrette um, that has this emblem on it that just reminds us of Anna then we have two clips and two pair ponies so this is really cute these we can definitely wear in our own hair then we have two hi Ola then we have two ribbons and one, two, three hair clips that we also can wear in our hair. And then it comes with this fun little tiara right here and it matches the base of um, Anna and it just fits really nicely right up at the top. And then you're going to see in a second we have this super cute hairbrush that we could use on our hair as well, but I think it's mostly meant for the, the styling head. So let's play. I'm going to take off her tiara. How about that? Would you like that, Olaf? Oh no, can it fit? Ah, Olaf. Okay, so we're going to take off the ponies right here. So I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to keep this clear pony for later. I, I, I might need it. And then I'm going to take this one off too. So it just goes off like that. And then turn her around. And uh, this hair, I kid you not, is so super soft. So super soft. And it's very easy to style. So we have this absolute beautiful hair here. Can you see it shine? So let's see what her shoe looks like just with her hair down. Oh, so, so super pretty. So let's style it together. All right, so what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of bring this all to the side over here. And I am going to do a side braid. So I'm gonna section this off in one, two, hmm, three. I'm gonna make sure the sections are all about equal. So um, I got a little bit of her white in there, which will look really pretty. So I'm going to go, the middle is going to go under, the left is going to go through, and I'm just going to go under, through, and I'm going to pull it tight as I go so that um, it has this beautiful kind of tight braid with it. And if you'll notice, the head is kind of moving around a little bit, so um, which is fine. It doesn't get in, in the way of me styling or anything. So I have this really pretty side braid. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put a ponytail there and work on another braid. All right, so this braid is all set and now I'm going to take one kind of over to the side here because I always wanted to kind of cascade down. So I'm going to go ahead and do another really pretty braid right here. And I love that that white streak is now showing up. So I'm gonna go over and under, over and under, and really make this braid kind of cascade down. 
So if you can see it forming a little bit there. So I'm gonna keep it going and um, then I'm gonna put a pony down at the bottom of this one and it's gonna look really pretty. Gonna kinda get that side, side look, okay? So I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna bring it over to the side so you can see the both braids are kinda going down there to the right. All right, so I have that first one we just did and the one with the white. And you can see some hair underneath here, which is what I wanted to do purposefully. And uh, I'm gonna bring it all the way over here to the side now. I'm gonna take this hair and I'm going to um, make sure that we kinda don't see any of her, her scalp. I'm gonna bring it over and under here. So now we have everything going to the side. Oh gosh, it's gonna look so pretty. So I'm gonna do a braid kind of under this part. This is probably, you know, the trickiest of them all, but I'm gonna separate these three pieces here and um, just braid it really easy over, under, you know, over, under. And, and what's fun is since it does have wear and share accessories, that means that you can use some of your accessories like bobby pins and stuff that you have at your house that you can use on this doll. So she can share with you and you can share with her. So can you see that we're kind of getting it through the side there? Here's the one we just did that goes around the back. Here's the first braid that we did and here's the second. So then now here's the back and you can see how everything kind of just goes to the side there. It looks beautiful back there. And then we have these beautiful three braids that are coming down the side. And you know we can do, um, put them together. So I'm going to fasten them together maybe with a beautiful bow. So it comes with these um, beautiful ribbons and I can go ahead and put a, as I tie the three together, I can put a little um, bow there if I like, or I can just do a knot, um, whatever you want to do, because these are not the longest, but they certainly do a good job. And then, you know, I'm thinking we need something right here to kind of balance it because it's going all the way to the left. So I'm going to choose this, my favorite, see the sparkles? Oh, I'm going to choose that one. And I'm going to put it right into here and fasten that down so we kind of have that beautiful little hair pop right there. Look at that. Doesn't that look super fun? Kind of like a, another accessory. Or if you don't like the way that looks, if that's like too much for you, um, we always need to wear our tiara. So I can go ahead and put her tiara in there real easily and it sticks and it looks really pretty. So that's just one way that you can decorate on his hair. There's so many possibilities for you to play with and to really learn how to braid. I love these dolls because my assistant, she constantly braids them and so it teaches her that skill that she can do on me or she can do on herself. So um, her favorite here is the side braids because she likes that kind of Elsa look and it makes it beautiful with Anna because of all of the braids and, and the piggies. So I hope you had fun playing with me today. Um, I hope you learned something. If you can go ahead and click right there to subscribe here to the engineering family. Tell us that you did so we can say thank you. And then the secret word right here is Anna. A-N-N-A. Bye, everyone. Bye, Olaf. Hey, if you enjoyed one of this video, check out one of these other four fun videos that feature Elsa and spooky sparrows, Elsa and slime, and other cool things. Take care and have fun.